So true Marvel fans know that Captain America's shield has seen everything from Bucky's vibranium arm to Thor's hammer. So for test one, we have a steel vat which represents Bucky's vibranium arm. Test two, we're ramping things up a bit. We gotta see if this shield is worthy for Thor's hammer. Test three, can it pass the axe? Like many of you guys, I've been craving for some Marvel content and with Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out and with Falcon taking on the mantle of Captain America, it's only right we make a Captain America shield. Today's all about construction, so that means we're going to be adding the circle and the star. To the back, we're going to be adding metal support. So not only is it going to support the shield, but it's also going to hold the straps. There's so many different ways and instructions online to make a Captain America shield, but I'm actually using the transformation instructions. So if this guy can do it on the internet, so can I. Right? So the first thing we're going to do, prep the sled. So this shield that we're doing right now is actually made out of PVC pipe, and most comic fans know that the Captain America shield is made out of vibranium that you get from Wakanda. So it's a little bit more sturdy than just the PVC pipe. But like anyways, we're gonna make this Captain America approved, so we're gonna make it work. This was supposed to be easy. We ran into a little bit of a problem. We are unscrewing the hinges, but you, as you can see, there's still metal pieces stuck to the board. Right now, we've just been using a hammer and a screwdriver, kind of wedging them out and then pulling them out. So kind of just manual labor, but we gotta get it done. Oh yeah, we're in this now. So we're gonna be putting the putty in all the different holes, filling it in, making sure it's all even, and then we're gonna be sanding it to make sure the whole sled is even and we don't fill any of the holes and we can paint all over it. Has Jeff sanded before? Mm, no, he hasn't. If there's a trick to sanding that I don't know, leave it in the comments. So now that the shield's all prepped and ready to go, we have the holes all filled with putty, we got them dried up, we have them sand down. So now that's all left to do is make the actual rings. First, we have to use the measuring tape to figure out what part is the middle. 13 inches is gonna be the middle mark for this. I'm just marking the center part so I can figure out where I need to put the actual screw. Now all we have left to do is drill. And remember, when we're drilling, we aren't going all the way. So I'm gonna check. It went all the way. So, obviously I wasn't supposed to do that, but at the end of the day, we're filling it with putty, so hopefully I will fill that hole as well. DIY with Jeff. This is not DIY with the internet people that do it correct all the first time. This is DIY with Jeff. We don't do it correct the first time. I'm actually gonna use some tape to hold these down, and then I am going to use the side of this to just make a light line through the whole shield. It's just permanent marker, you know, so you can't get it off. If you mess up, that's what DIY is for. They said this looks like a pizza. This looks more like a basketball to me. You know, Captain America can hoop too, so it's fine. Now we're gonna hook the screw up to a marker and we're actually gonna make the circles. We're gonna draw those first and then we're gonna dremel over them. The first ring that you guys see is actually the first circle, the middle circle that the star is in. The whole star width to width is eight inches, so I need four inches to start the circle. As I told you in the beginning, I am not Picasso or Tim the Tool Man. This circle is not the best. I think on the next round, we're gonna be going from point to point rather than just doing the whole thing all in one. I think that's probably where I went wrong. So we drew all the circles that are gonna be our rings. They're gonna be our guidelines. Now all that's left to do is Dremel. So for this, we're gonna be going extra slow. We're gonna make sure we get the right lines. One thing we wanna make sure we remember is that when we're Dremeling, we do wanna give it some depth because once we sand it, it's gonna come back. And we also want the rings to be seen. So that's why I'm kinda, I'm digging into it a little bit more. I'm giving it a little bit of depth. Clean the debris off, see where we're at. So, as you guys can see, the Dremeling's done, which means it's a great time for a shield fact. Captain America's shield is actually Magneto proof. And if you guys don't know who Magneto is, he's a villain that can control all types of metal. So it's obviously a huge plus for Captain America. Now that we wrapped up the Dremel, it's time for me to take out the anchor and put the star in. First we trace the star and then we're gonna actually Dremel it just like the rings, so we're gonna follow the same process. So since my star is too big, I got a stencil that was a little too big for my shield. I'm actually just drawing half of it and I'm gonna fix it when it's time to Dremel. So we finally dremeled the star, we got all the rings done. Only thing left to do part of the construction is metal the back. So right now we're doing the metal piecing for the backing for the shield. We cut it into four pieces that are five inches long and also two pieces that are nine and a half inches long.
Right now, because this is an uneven surface, there's gonna be a big gap right here. If you guys can see that, there's a big gap on both sides. So the plan is to not only put super glue right here, but also putty, so it gets that welding look. After this, we're gonna spray some primer on this biatch. Now, the people on the instructions, they said it was supposed to look like welding. Hmm, it can. Does it right now? Not so much. So now that all the metal's done, all we have left to do is prime the back and we're done for the day. And day one is done. First we're gonna add primer all around the shield. And then we're gonna add a silver base around the whole shield. And lastly we'll add color for the rings and the stars. So let's get right to it. So we had a little accident, both the metal parts fell overnight. We're gonna have to reapply. We're gonna move on, because at the end of the day, all you guys see is the front. So we're gonna start painting. So we're gonna continue to prime the whole base. We're gonna get everything, the front and the back. Now it's time for the front. It's really gonna expose any of the areas that we need to fix, we need to redo, any of that. So that's the best part about the primer. Not only is it gonna set for the paint, but it exposes everything we need to fix. Now that the primer's all dried up and we did a little bit of sanding, this is round two or three. Now it's time for the silver around the whole base. Oh yeah. You can already start to see the shine. Oh yeah, that vibranium is shining. Wakanda, Wakanda is helping us out right here. So now that the silver's all done, we had a full coat of silver. We have it on the whole shield. We're gonna add some color now. So we're gonna be doing red around the outer ring and then the inside ring as well. So that means we have to tape off this ring and the circle. And just like that, we're going to red. Oh yeah, this red is coming in nice. I may be making Captain America's shield, but I'm definitely getting my Miles Morales on with the spray painting. So now the red rings are done, we're gonna peel off the tape and we're gonna move on to the blue circle. Oh yeah. Okay, it's starting to get there. We got the red rings, the paint didn't go through. I was kind of worried, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of red, but no, this worked. Look, don't sleep on my tape game. So next we're gonna cover up the star with tape and then add in this area with blue. We also need to tape over the red ring right here. So the cool thing about this shield is, this is the one that's most known, most represented in the MCU, but there's been over 40 shields throughout the history in the comics. Everything's all covered, time for some blue. We have painters tape around the two rings, but I still need to be careful because this is all open area right now. So just like that, we have cobalt blue in the middle. We're gonna let this sit for about 15, 30 minutes, and then we're gonna come right back, throw in another coat. Since we're literally outside waiting for paint to dry, there's no better time to give you guys a shield fact. In the comics, Sam Wilson's Captain America had friction with the government, and after a series of events, they split ways. And now with Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out, I'm really interested to see if they tackle this storyline. Now that the painting's done and the color's all added, all we have to do is take the tape off and add the finishing touches, which means we're gonna edge out an outline of the star with the screwdriver, it's gonna be a flathead, and then we're gonna use thumbtacks for the bolts. So now let's take the tape off and see our final product. And with that, the painting's done. All we got left is a clear coat. I might test this in the streets and be an LA Captain America. Y'all better watch out. So true Marvel fans know that Captain America's shield has seen everything from Bucky's vibranium arm to Thor's hammer. So for test one, we have a steel bat, which represents Bucky's vibranium arm. Test two, we're ramping things up a bit. We gotta see if this shield is worthy for Thor's hammer. Test three, can it pass the axe? So right now, we're at Break Room LA to test it out. Hey, it's still alive, it just fell. Still sticking. It might not be made of vibranium, but it's sure passing on my test. So we built the shield, we tested the shield, and as you can see, it's still standing. I don't know if it got Captain America's approval, but it'll be hanging up in my room after this. <laughs>